So in this question, we have the following thing. We have a projectile that is launched from y equals y0 at the magnitude of velocity v0 and the angle is theta. So it's going from point A, then it's going to, sorry, point B was up to this point based on the graph given. And we also know that the weight uh, is going downwards from this direction. The last point is point C, which is going downwards. Uh, and it makes sense that it's a parabolic motion. Next, we could identify that y1 is up to point A and y2 is somewhere in between right here. Therefore, we could say that the work equals mg times y1 minus y2. In this case, y1 is going to be A, the initial point, minus yb. And that should give us the following. The following is that uh, yA is represented by 1 and yB is represented by 2. In this case, y1 is less than y2, so when we multiply by mg, it's going to give us a negative uh, value. So with that information, we can say that the work, um, the following work from point C to point D, as a graph or the projection continues, uh, we could say that mg multiplied by yc minus yb is when it's going to be zero. Overall, we can say that the work from point A to point B is equal to zero based on the previous um, evaluation. Now, from the previous statement, uh, the work from A to B uh, being equal to zero, we could say that the kinetic energy equal to zero. And then doing some algebra, we can conclude to the point that the velocity of B is going to be the initial velocity, which is pretty much what we need to solve the next question. This is find the work going from point A to C and find the magnitude of velocity C. So, um, to find the work, we could say that the mechanical energy from A is equal to the mechanical energy from C. So we can uh, rewrite this equation into this kinetic plus potential from the initial position is going to be kinetic plus uh, the potential energy in the final uh, position. Now we also know that the final velocity is going to be equal to zero based on the given information above. Then we continue doing the algebra, we cancel out the m's, then we already know this is zero, so we don't need to write it again. Then we have the following right here. So we can solve for b squared of c. And this is our final answer.